Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming to your monthly reading. It should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. All right, let's just hop into this. Woo, shit's already flying out for you guys. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles, yes. And look at the bottom. There are your asses, the King of Wands, just sitting there like, yep, give me my new start. Okay, all right. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Leo? Overall outcome. Okay, we have the three of swords reversed. I like that. What's Leo's person of interest? What's their overall energy? What's Leo's person of interest? What's their overall energy with love and romance? Okay, the high priestess wanted to come out. Death is here. Okay, so Scorpio energy. Um, let's see, how does how does uh, Leo feel about their person of interest romantically? Okay, the Four of Wands. There's um, uh, Aries, Venus, and Aries. And what is the current situation between these two romantically? Look, Ace of Pentacles again. That was face up, which is weird. Okay, and let me see, what is the best potential outcome romantically? Ooh, look, this could be the one. Okay, I, I here, here's what I think, Leo. I'm going to be honest. And, you know, I've done your readings for a while, and there's always a theme, right? Like, there's always this theme of, like, you guys constantly giving, the other person constantly taking, it's just kind of like um, a clusterfuck of like fuckery, right? It's it's like the same thing. Obviously, something is happening here where there is some type of transformation. And I feel like for you guys, for a period of time, I feel like you felt very um, boxed in, right? Or very contained when it came to love. It's like you knew that this is what you had like in your box. And for you, it's like there has to be something more than that. And subconsciously, I do feel like you knew that there were others outside of this small, you know, box that you guys had originally had. And I feel like either this is somebody new coming in because we do have the Ace of Pentacles, or this can possibly be somebody from the past that is then coming forward and having some something that's renewed. Um, Three of Swords, that is Saturn in um, Libra. And... Um, all right, like with that being said, let's just hop into your reading. What is the overall energy for love and romance for Leo? Overall energy, please. Okay, the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next level. Healing. I do think with the three of swords here, there is something that is being healed. If prior to this month, coming into this month, you were kind of worried about starting a relationship because of everything that's been going on, or going back and forth with like just dating or anything like that, it kind of becomes painful or unable, put you in a place where you have to make a decision like, is dating even worth it? And I feel like for you, if you've had trouble in the past or if you've had trouble in the past with a relationship, that's no longer here. There's some type of games that are done being pay, um, played. If somebody was avoiding a relationship, that's no longer an issue either. Why is this Three of Swords reversed? Okay, Ten of Wands. There is Saturn and Sag. There's a lot of Saturn energy here. So there is some type of lesson that um, needed to be learned, I feel like. It's like, how much are you going to take? How much are you going to take on, Leo? Because even though you guys can take on the Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands, does that mean that you're supposed to? Because for me, it doesn't. Um... Why is this Three of Swords here? Why is this Three of Swords reversed here for the overall energy for Leo with love and romance? Page of Wands. Okay, here's what I think, Leo. I think that there was a relationship that's kind of taken a toll on you in the past, and I feel like you're letting that go. And now you're really optimistic and looking forward to what is to come. Um, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands, Sag, Aries, Leo energy. What, what new start is coming for Leo here? What, what new start this month for the overall energy is coming in? The Emperor, you know, there's Aries or um, also Scorpio as well as the Fool. So there's Pisces as well as Aquarius. 
So here's what I think. I definitely feel like there's a new start coming. I feel like there's a very solid person that's coming in that knows exactly what they want. Um, I don't think that they have a problem going after it with the fool here. I also feel like you're open to it. It's like for you, Leo, it's like, fuck it. I just want to go with the flow, but while staying in control of your emotions and of everything else. Um, where is this new start going for Leo? Where is this new start going for Leo? Ooh, the high priestess is here. They're like, we're not going to tell you. Where is this new start going for Leo? Where's this new start going for Leo? Woo! The Queen of Cups. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. However, I do feel like you guys don't realize the amount of happiness that's coming in with this situation or this relationship. Also, too, I feel like the Queen of Cups, this may be your energy where you're just in a very loving and caring type of um, energy, right? Like, there's a level of security here, but I feel like it's security that you've built. It's you being confident with yourself. It's you handling business. It's you handling things with inside of your family. It definitely can be a multitude of things. However, I do feel like right now there's something you guys are not seeing or maybe you feel, but somebody from the past, I do feel like maybe coming back up, possibly. Somebody that you used to talk to that you no longer talk to anymore. Okay. Why is Leo's person's energy or, or, or what's Leo's overall uh, energy when it comes, Leo's person of interest? What is their overall energy when it comes to romance? Leo. Some of you guys may be dealing with somebody that has an addiction, possibly. Okay, lightning, sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, appeal, transformation. Interesting. I feel like there, this person has had a recent ending. Um, whether it was with somebody that they were dealing with whether it was a transformation in their relationship with you, there was something that this person had to end that probably wasn't good for them. And now it's like they're ready for something new. What, what's ending here for this person with death? What's, what's ending here for this person with death? Leo's person of interest. What's ending here for their person of interest? Okay, the Ace of Cups reversed. So something, so, some type of romantic exchange that I feel like wasn't giving them enough. It's like they're they're ending this, right? And what are they moving forward to? The lovers. Ew. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart. I feel like for a period of time, Leo, I'm going to be honest, we have the two of pentacles with the king of wands, two of pentacles, that's Jupiter and Capricorn. I feel like this person's gone back and forth a few times with whether or not they want to invest in you or if they don't. And I'm saying that because the King of Wands is here. I do feel like, though, they've made up their mind because something has ended here. So now there's only this one pentacle, which you can see as a current situation. And that's because they may have ended some type of third party situation or maybe they've left out something that wasn't bringing them a lot of stability. Um, why is the Two of Pentacles here for this person? I already know. I just want to show you guys what I'm saying. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for this person? Why? Also can be this person deciding whether or not they want to be single or not. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Some of them may have recently ended a situation with a um, Capricorn, Cancer, uh, Virgo, or Taurus. How does Leo feel about this Queen of Wands? How does Leo feel about this Queen of Wands? How does Leo feel about this Queen of Wands? Okay, the Seven of Wands. So that's how I know the Queen of Wands isn't you. So they may have recently ended some type of connection that they've had with somebody, maybe even somebody that they've lived with, or somebody that they felt like they had a future with. How does Leo feel now that this Two of Wands is ending? Or this Two of Pentacles is ending. How does this make Leo feel now that this person is ready to invest in Leo? How does this make Leo feel? The Magician. Ew. There you go. Um, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, or Virgo. 
I think that you feel good. I think that this person has taken some time and you and this person may have not even been talking, to be honest, especially with the seven of wands here. That's, that's a block. And that's for you. I think you're at a point right now with this person that it's like, you either want me or you don't, but I'm not playing. Like I have too much to offer than to have you investing in more than one person. Like I require more than what you're giving me. And I think that this person understands that. And there was something probably karmatically, right, that needed to end. And also for you, right, there was some type of lesson here, especially with all the Saturn that's coming up for the energy. It's almost ending that toxicity, ending the negativity and allowing you to move freely as you're supposed to. I also feel like for you, how you feel is that this is exactly what you wanted and now it's finally manifesting into um, the real world. But I do think that somebody had to walk away from something that was, you know, relatively toxic. How does Leo feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Leo feel about their person of interest romantically? You may have felt like they were the runner, but then also too, you have twin flames here. Now, I'm not a big twin flame person, but what I can tell you is you and this person um, may even be opposites, where opposites um, attract. But for you, there is a level of balance here and a level of union and duality um, where you do feel like you complete one another. Part of you feels like this person can give you exactly what you need when you need it, as long as they're willing to detach themselves from the other arrangements that they had. But the fact that you feel the four of wands, that's fantastic. I mean, there's definitely a strong connection here between the two of you. Something very solid. Here's Libra's ass. You know, Libra's like, wait a minute, let me make myself uh, known. I just feel like for you, it was really about this person doing the right thing. I do think for a period of time, Leo, you may have gone quiet or gone silent with what you want and you've taken some time to think about it, I do feel like, though, that this wasn't an easy time for you. And part of me feels like there was a level of feeling alone here for Swords Justice, and it's pertaining to this Two of Cups. That's um, Venus and Cancer. And I just feel like you've taken the time to really think about this person, really manifest this person, Two of Cups is here, you guys, um, you know, Venus in Cancer, and I'm only speaking because I, I have a Venus in Cancer, but that that's a, that, that's a very intense um, placement, right? This is somebody that does better when they're in commitments. Um, for you, it's like you really wanted somebody, or maybe this is what you're manifesting, right? Because we have the magician here. Um, you're manifesting a partner that gives you security and comfort and care, somebody that pays attention to your feelings. If you're upset, Leo, this person knows. You don't have to tell this person, hey, I'm upset. Like, this person is somebody that's going to check in with you. Um, also, too, I feel like there's a level of possessiveness here with um, making sure that this person is emotionally connected to you and also very attracted to a level of traditional lifestyle here. I know that that sounds crazy, but I do. And I feel like for you, this person, you do feel like the Hierophant with the Ten of Pentacles, they can be right for you. This is somebody that you can see yourself really settling down with. This is somebody that you can see yourself having children with, or merging families, or really working out the details when it does come to love and romance. And it's about doing the right thing. Like, this is a very strong commitment. You feel like this person, you and this person, you, there is a level of potential here that it's 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 right there. And for you, especially with this Ace of Wands, with the Two of, um, two of Wands, it's like you guys are so close, right? There's already the idea here that both of you guys want each other. It's who's going to take that next step. But the tower is here with the Six of Swords, so there is some type of communication that is going to come in from this person that I think is going to surprise you because you may have not been speaking to this person, or this person is going to say something that's like, oh, shit, what's said here? What's said here? What is said here to Leo? The Six of Swords and the tower. Okay. 
So it's the Five of Cups with the Sun. I miss you. Um, I don't want things to end. This can also be like, hey, I fucked up. Hey, I've been thinking about you. You make me really happy. I want to see you again. Like there's something here about something coming back around and a truth being revealed here, especially with that Six of Swords. There's Aquarius, Mercury and Aquarius, um, also tied with that tower. Okay. What is the current situation between these two romantically? What is the current situation between Leo and their person of interest romantically? Okay, engagement ring. Now, Leo. Engagement ring for me, and this is tied with abundance and soulmate. Engagement ring for me, yes. For some of you guys, you may be getting engaged during this time period, but then also, too, there's that other aspect of this is a very strong commitment, right? There's something here going on between some type of soul connection or soul contract um, that's coming through with this person. However, there's a lot of abundance, I feel like, that comes. And whatever you've been manifesting for a period of time, Leo, that is now here. And it's coming to you as a brand new start. Need some more information here, please. Why the Ace of Pentacles is here. With the Knight of Pentacles, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. This is a very solid offer coming in. It's no longer this wishy-washy energy. It's something um, very solid. There's communication here as well as a level of action. And the Six of Pentacles is reversed. So for me, the Six of Pentacles upright, that's Moon and Taurus. Um, that has to deal with, for me, giving to more than one person. I also feel like, too, your, par your person of interest was trying to play it very safe, where they weren't going to get hurt. They were okay giving to you, giving over here, giving to multiple people in order to, I don't know, not get attached here. But I think that this is quickly changing. Also, too, your person is very stubborn, where even though they portray like they want to move relatively quickly this person does like to move at a slower pace until they know but now all of a sudden shit's flipped and they're no longer giving to more than one person they really do realize leo that you are the one that they do want to give to now um the ace of pentacles is a minor arcana for the sun so with that being said here something is manifesting into the physical form that you've already created and it's coming in. Eight of Wands, there's something coming in here very quickly. I do feel like it's a commitment. I do feel like um, this person who was very stubborn in the beginning, I think that they've broken whatever, you know, that they were tied to, whatever routine. And now they're coming back and they're here to make an offer. The Empress, Taurus or Libra. But I feel like this is you. I feel like they're offering or making some type of offer to you where you're the one that's kind of sitting back here making a decision with whether or not you want to accept it or if there's something here more. But what's crazy is here's strength. So here's your ass with the King of Pentacles. So Taurus, Leo, um, Virgo or Capricorn. But for me, to be honest, how I'm reading this is that this is a very solid commitment. This is you being strong, holding out for exactly what you wanted, not putting up with any shit, detaching yourself from somebody who wasn't ready to make that commitment, and now all of a sudden you're getting the person that you want. Uh, with that being said, Leo, I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.